the next day here and now it's going to be time for welding stuff up here's the beautiful concept bumper idea art. our concept art yeah i thought about being an art major could you believe that so i think we got a pretty good idea of what we want despite this abstract <laughs> stupid thing but it's in color so it's i know it's in color so that's like at least a couple dollars off of commission there diesel dave <laughs> so we got some metal here we got plenty enough for skid plate hopefully a bumper and because of the way this crown vic frame is shaped i think we can get away with some rock sliders too for pretty easy and uh that's gonna be awesome i could just about weld two pieces of metal together so this is gonna be mostly diesel dave's show i'm definitely not gonna build something that could be crashed into <laughs> i could maybe survive the jumping test with my welds but definitely not the driving a crown vic into a sapling kind of test <laughs> Yeah, that was from the last gambler. Diesel Dave wasted a poor deer in his Mad Max bumper car. I would and uh, go over and get the video of the bumper, the whole entire bumper. Sure. Well, well, we'll get an idea of what the craftsmanship we're working with here is. Prior build. So I strap the GoPro on and I have like a 50% extra chance of tripping and falling. So here's what's left of the last gambler. Oh. Oh, no. Gambler 500, Adirondack Adventure. She's in mint. I stole the springs for the mock gambler. But yeah, this is the, <laughs> this is the kind of thing we're going to end up with probably. I wonder if we can't bag that square receiver again. Good luck, that thing's so solid to weld it in there. You'd have to cut it flush and then use that torque. You can buy them, they're like eight bucks. Maybe I'll do that then. Yeah, but we're going to end up with something probably not as robust as this because I might actually want to sell the car. And this is, Diesel Dave smoked a deer before in this and this isn't just the bumper, it's the whole front of the car. I mean, if you look right there, there was a horn, there was a horn, there's a horn. But yeah, the there's doesn't leak. There's still deer fur in this thing, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you oh, fire it up, you can smell hot deer hair. Anyway, yeah, despite the banana radiator and the fact that most of the front is now well casing. We got a steam boiler, whole steam boiler casing and cattle dividers. It was mint. Yeah. She, she took a beating. On, uh... Nice, and I ran it off the road, too. <laughs> yeah, you almost rolled it. Yeah, we've got some people we want to start uh, getting them driving sideways on this gambler, so we're going to need a nice, robust hey, bumper. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me see what you're talking about with that. Yeah, so in the way back there behind the transmission pan, I can't quite point my foot. But way back behind the nipple. Over I see there, that there's a brace there. There's a big solid brace. And up here we have a slightly less solid brace, but it does have these. I wouldn't want to drill a hole. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drill a hole in like the main bit of it, but there still are these tabs. Yeah, you could totally have hole and stuff. What and I those would be do? great, and that would cover all of the important crap, and you could I still absolutely get in, in there. And Hold a piece of square tubing right here. That way we can just weld it. Get like a small little spacer. Just a bolt there, and then that way the skid plate is down just a little bit. Granted, you're going to be sacrificing an inch or two of ground clearance. I think that's fine if, you, if we're able to come down hard on things, because right now we got about a foot. Which is way more than... All the other stuff we've gambled today. Yeah, the one guy gambled the Bonestock Taurus. Or the HHR. Yes, the HHR that did all the death tracks. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a pretty solid base right there. I, I don't know if we have long enough tube to actually get the whole way through. We could just stick the tube together, can't we, Diesel Dave? Fuck
So we just cut off the bottom. Got ourselves about like, what, two inches of extra ground clearance from it. Well, not that it matters. We would have just broken off the plastic bumper. But it makes it look taller, doesn't it, Diesel Dave? Oh, yeah. And now we have a clearer shot to get to the front from the frame rails. So there's a start of rock slider for this side. Diesel Dave's hard at work on the front. And I'm just getting stuff over here locked up. Well, here we go. Here's our starting point. Diesel Dave, master stick booger welder. Let's take a look at these bad boys. Let from anyone to judge. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Got a half inch plate right there. And what we're thinking was trying to get some kind of bull bar going, but we got these cool tapered steam boiler, you said? Yeah, steam boiler. Take something like that and get that stuck there. It looks sweet and it gets a little more geometry in there than just square, Squares. square assault. So Diesel Dave's gonna keep working on this and me, like my useless self, I'm gonna go fetch parts. Absolutely horrible, terrible taste. I think it looks awesome. It might need like a, a rib or two in the middle, especially if we're gonna, especially if we're gonna plan to come down hard on it, which we will. Here's our mint rock slider. Masterful work, Diesel Dave. Well, there we go. There's probably most of our front bumper, and it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Now it's just uh, one more slider and the skid plate. There's our bumper, now it's skid plate time. And Diesel Dave lost the sparker, so here's his ingenious way to get the acetylene torch started. Step one, make sure you have gas. Turn it on. The welder, that is. Start your sparker. Ingenious. <laughs> you really are gonna blow yourself up one day. There's plenty of day left. So the skid plate is going on now. We got this long bar of, what did you say, it was grater blade? Yeah, it was an old grater, road grater blade. Come on, we have it. So that's going to be most of the skid plate. And up front here we got this aluminum cross member. And we just drilled a steel bar into it. And then we're going to weld this thick grater blade up to the ass end of it. And since everything is in a pretty narrow line, that should cover us for most of our stuff. We got this little plate here, this big fat thick bar, our front mount, our back mount, and that should be good. We even have a little cutout for the drain pan. And this is even removable. What a miracle. <laughs> All right, let's get, get to it. I'll get you your rod. I have no idea how well this is gonna show up, but here we go, the skid plate. Got it right here in the front. Nice little deflector. In the back we got our big uh, grater blade. And then a little extra slapped on to try to cover the transmission tunnel. It looks like we're set. What you say, Diesel Dave? Yeah, it sounds like it's time for dinner to me. And that's really the last of the gambler mods. Everything else is cosmetic. So, let's go have some Dinsky. 